everybody, today I'm going to be doing a an overview or a showcase of this Timeless Trends Hourglass Silhouette Waist Cincher. Um, it's not an official review per se because it's hard for me to remain objective when I helped to design this uh, with Timeless Trends back in June. So uh, I'm still going to give you the information as with a regular review, but just so you know, you know, like I, I did have a part in making this. So without further ado, <laughs> here's the front side back and the other side. The center front of this corset is eight and a quarter inches high and it has a seven inch long bust, but I'll get to that later. Uh, at the princess seam, it is about seven inches high. Um, I, I wouldn't actually say from under bust to lap in, in my case because I have a good like almost three inches between the top of this uh, cincher and the top of like my actual underbust measurement. So um, with cinchers, this one included also my baby cincher from what Katie did, also my uh, cincher from uh, Orchard Corset. I tend to get some uh, spillover or back fat in them. That's why I tend to pair them with uh, sort of um, more poofy or, or flowy style shirts to hide some of that back fat. Um, the side seam here is six and a quarter inches and then in the very back, it is about nine and a half inches. And for the circumferential measurements, today I'm wearing a size 24. The top edge here is 28 inches, so it has a four inch rib spring, and that is four inches above the waist tape. And uh, the hips are measured at 31 inches. They are seven inches larger than the waist, and this is measured only two inches down. So my iliac crest is actually down here, whereas the top of this corset, uh, or the bottom edge of this corset, sits right there. So it is far above my iliac crest, actually. So somebody that a cincher would be suited for is uh, somebody who has a shorter torso. If the measurements work for you, then a cincher can uh, possibly look the same on you as a, a standard length underbust would look on somebody with a bit of a longer torso. If you wanted to add a little bit of cinch to your waist under clothing, but you still want a lot of mobility, then a cincher might be okay for you. Or if you are going out and you want a cincher to act like a, a wide uh, shapely belt, you can also do that. But if you have a, a flushy back and you have, uh, if you're worried about you having a lot of spillover, um, perhaps choose something that has a wider rib cage that uh, fits your measurements a little bit better in the rib spring and uh, something that might uh, reach a little bit higher on the ribs and maybe even a bit of a higher back. Uh, if you have a lower tummy pooch uh, or a mother's apron, um, then this corset is probably not going to cover it fully. So if you really want something to fully cover your lower tummy, then it might be better to try for a long line corset instead. One person asked if the hourglass cincher has less cuppy ribs compared to the standard length and the long length corset, and yes, it does. The standard length and the long length corset are both based off a, a similar pattern, whereas this one we started new because we wanted to cater to several different body types. So this one is a little bit less cupped. It does have like a tiny bit of a curve at the rib cage, but it is um, not completely noticeable, and um, so it will actually pull in your lower rib cage a little bit. So here's the hourglass cincher laid flat, and for the materials, there are three main layers in this corset. The fashion fabric here is the uh, red and black dragon brocade, and it has these uh, insert panels of regular black satin in between there to sort of break up the, the busy pattern. Uh, the fashion fabric is fused to twill as uh, one of the strength layers, and then it's also lined in this black cotton twill as well. Here's a Timeless Trends label and it has made in Thailand here. On the other side you can see the fabric content and the uh, dry cleaning instructions and the size. Turning this corset on its side, it has a six panel pattern, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can see that we put significantly more room uh, in the, the second panel for the rib cage here, and a little bit more in panels three, four, and five for the hip area. And this corset was constructed using the sandwich method, so the bones are uh, double bone on the seams and sandwich in between the layers. Opening it up, you can see the outline of the waist tape. It's one inch wide and it goes right from the front busk here all the way to the back grommets. It's one inch wide and uh, you can see that it is between the layers stitched invisibly. The binding of this corset is made from bias strips of matching black satin and it is machine stitched on both the outside and the inside. You can see it's stitched in the ditch on the outside. It has a little bit of a lip on the inside here and it has six garter tabs, three on each side. 
By default, none of the underbust corsets from Timeless Trends have a modesty panel, although you can purchase it separately, uh, a stiffened modesty panel that you can either thread through the grommet so it's suspended on the laces, or you can just use little Velcro tabs to uh, attach it to the, the very top lacing right there if you want to easily remove it. Uh, the overbust corsets do come with a default modesty panel, so um, yeah, if you're buying an overbust corset, it does come with a modesty panel, but for the cinchers, no, it doesn't. However, all of the new hourglass silhouette corsets do come with this half inch wide modesty placket uh, by the knob side of the busk here, also in a matching dragon brocade. The busk in this corset is seven inches long and it is a standard flexible busk, half an inch wide on each side. This one has four loops and pins, equidistantly spaced, and adjacent to the busk, there is also a, a flat steel bone, three at seven inch wide to help contribute to a little bit more of that stiffness and sturdiness. There are 26 bones total in this corset, not including the front busk here, 13 on each side. So here you can see it's double boned on the seams, two, four, six, eight, ten. These are quarter inch wide spiral steel bones. In the back here you can see two half inch wide uh, flat steel bones, or they might be uh, three eighths of an inch wide. And uh, then this other flat steel bone by the busk, like I just said, um, another three eighths of an inch wide uh, flat steel bone. There's a total of 20 grommets in the back of this corset, ton on each side, size zero, so it's a little, little bit of a bigger hole with a small to medium flange around them. Uh, this one is finished in a darker silver, sort of a, a pewter color. Here's the back of the grommet, so you can see that it, there is a washer there. Um, the, the grommets seem to have all rolled really nicely. A couple of splits here and there, but they don't catch on the ribbon. Uh, these are all equidistantly spaced, about one inch apart. And the laces that come in the back of the corset is this half inch wide single face satin ribbon finished in black. So it is uh, not quite as strong as double face satin ribbon. Uh, you can buy shoelace style laces uh, in the accessories section if you do want um, uh, something a little bit more of a workhorse lace, but uh, for my purposes, I've never had uh, one of these uh, ribbons actually snap on me, except for the one time I tried to iron it and it totally melted. <laughs> so yeah, don't iron it on high heat. The price of the Hourglass Silhouette Waist Cincher is the same as the original Waist Cinchers. So it starts at $89 US and it might go up from there depending on the quality or the popularity of the uh, premium fabrics. And this concludes my showcase of the Tanla Strands Hourglass Silhouette Weight Center. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button below and help support the channel. If you have any questions about my experience with Tanla Strands or the, uh, the center in general and how it was uh, patterned, how it was constructed, anything like that, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to get back to you. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.